Hi, I'm Atika. I'm a learning designer and trader at Open Learning Malaysia. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your assessment reports, namely manual assessment and automatic assessment. All right, let's get started. First, we're going to set up manual assessment. I have set up this page and an activity in the page that I want to be assessed. I am using this activity which I have also tagged the learning outcome in the widget. For manual assessment, this is for submissions that use posting widgets which are post tags, post image and post file. Only submissions through this widget are applicable for this report type. Okay, so to properly use this report type, make sure that you have set up your learning outcome. If you haven't done so, you can go to course setup and click on outcome to set up your learning outcome. This report type is an outcome based assessment, which means that you have to match the activities that you have set up with the outcome. It is important to set up your outcome first before you set up your assessment report. Okay, so to set up your assessment report, go to the assessment tab and click report design. Okay, once you are in the assessment design page, scroll down a bit until you see this tab. Okay, there are a few options, but you need to choose new report for manual assessment and then click add report to add your report. You can create as many report as you need. Okay, as you can see here, there is also a report weight. This is the percentage that you set up for each report. If you have more than one report, you can divide each report based on what you want, but make sure that the total will be 100%. I have set up 60% previously for my report, for my previous report. So I'll use only 20% for this new report. Okay. For, oops. I'll use another 20% for the automatic assessment. Okay. Don't worry, there's usually an indicator that tells you if you have exceeded the total or if you are below it. Okay, so to edit your new report, just click edit here. It will lead you to the report design page. Once you are in the page, you can first set up the report title. I will set up mine and then one toss. Okay, there's also a total score here. This is just for this report which in my case was 20%, but for the total score, I'll, I only want to use 10 as the total score, okay? Once you have set your total score, find the intended learning outcome for the report. I'll choose this one, okay, for my outcome for this report, okay? To add your criteria, just click Add Criteria, okay? Here, add the details, followed by its weightage. Okay, my weight, my details. Okay, and I'm only going to use five out of 10 for my weightage. Okay, next select your assessment type that fits your report and then Set up your rubrics. Okay. Okay. That's that's your criteria. Okay, I'm gonna show you again. I'm gonna add another criteria to the same learning outcome. Okay. So this is my second outcome. That's the second criteria. Okay, I'm going to use the rest of five weightage. Okay, for assessment type, I'm going to choose pass fail. For pass fail, there's no configuration, so I'm going to leave this at that. Okay, so every criterion must be linked to evidence of learning by tagging them. So make sure that you have tagged all your activities in their respective learning outcome. So how to make sure that you have tagged, okay. Uh, I'm going to show you this uh, in your page, in your content page or, or your activity page. 
make sure in your widgets, in your post widgets, posting widgets, you have set up your tagging. Okay, so for this activity, there's two uh, outcomes that are tagged. Uh, if you have only one, just set up one. Okay, so but make sure that you have set this up in order for the submissions to show up in the assessment report. Okay, all right. So if you're done for this, just don't forget to click save, which is at the end of each page. All right, so that's it. You're done for your manual report. Okay, so now we're going to do for automatic assessment. Automatic assessment is only for quiz related widgets. This type of assessment cannot be used for submissions that use any type of post widgets. Before you use this, make sure that your quiz page has been created and set up. It is also important to note that you have to have a submit button on the quiz page so that the automatic assessment can run co correctly. Okay, so once again, we're going to go into the assessment tab and report design. Okay, to create an automatic assessment, under the re new report tab, just choose new examination report and then click add report. Okay, so I'm going to use the rest of 20% on the automatic assessment. Okay. To edit your report page, just click on edit. Alright. And it will lead you to the examination design page. Okay, first name your title. Report title, quiz one. Okay. Okay, and then where it says add a quiz page here, type in the name of the quiz page with the quiz that you wish to be auto-assessed. Okay, so for mine, it is size and space. Okay, all right. So it will pop up all of the questions that you have already set up in here. Okay, make sure check to make sure all of the questions are there, uh, and then uh, adjust the worth. If you wish to keep it like that, you can. But if you wish to raise it, you can just click on it. Okay. Uh, all right, so then that's it. You're done with your automatic assessment. Don't forget to click save. How was that? Pretty simple, right? Now you have set up both automatic assessment and manual assessment. I hope this helps. But if you have any more questions, feel free to ask us in the comment section below or email us at support at openlearning.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.